everyone, Sydney Sozio on Six with Soz, here to bring you the top six things people are talking about. Up first is the football game versus Cary at home last Thursday. The Mustangs kept Cary scoreless with a final score of 21 to nothing, continuing the Creek's undefeated football season. Star player Jonathan Spencer had a 95-yard touchdown reception and a 100-yard interception, making it difficult for Cary to get excited and ultimately shut down their morale. Next, Google is coming out with a phone that rivals the iPhone 6S, the Nexus 6P and 5X. Both devices feature Android's new Marshmallow operating system and cameras surpassing Apple's current technology, all starting at around $400 without a contract. Even though this technology statistically outdoes Apple in every way, most iPhone users are sticking to their devices solely for the Apple-exclusive features. Apple doesn't have anything to worry about yet, but when will the draw of iMessage and AirDrop no longer satisfy the public? Middle Creek Band has been killing it this season and hosted their first ever band competition right here at the Creek. Thanks to Joaquin, this past weekend, this competition had to be moved inside and a few of the bands and judges weren't able to attend. But that can't stop the marching Mustangs. They were able to play their set and still had a great time. Band performed at Panther Creek last weekend, but the competition was also moved inside. If this rain ever stops, maybe Middle Creek will be able to show off their full set with choreography, which is notorious for getting them ranked as one of the top bands in the area. Homecoming, Spirit Weeks, Prom, literally any event that requires planning here at Middle Creek, none of these would be possible without our student government. Student Body President Lauren Hempen gives us an inside look on just how much time and planning all of these events really take. So what exactly does being student body president include? So student body president is the leader of SGA and kind of the person you go to at school really if you have any questions because I love to answer questions. I love to be there for anybody if they have anything they want to know about school. Also it's guiding everybody else in the right direction and kind of focusing on the logistics. SGA were the brainstormers and I kind of organize it out. What kind of planning do big events like this require? It's a lot of brainstorming, sitting in Ms. Titus's room and just shouting out ideas, writing things down, um, and it's a lot of trial and error. I mean, through the years we've failed and succeeded, and it's all about knowing the student body, for sure. And how much time do you personally spend to work on everything that goes on around here? So, Homecoming Week is really exciting because we have a new theme that we've never really explored before. So for our homecoming spirit days, we have a battle week planned. So for each day, you get to pick a side. So we have babies versus oldies, prep versus hipster, rock versus rapper, hero versus villain. So it's really packing in a ton of spirit days in one week. That's definitely a lot of dedication. How do you manage to balance your personal life with everything going on? So I actually have a teacher's assistant during third block. So I work with Miss Titus during the day. And most of the time um, I stay on during lunch and really just because I'm dedicated and I want the school to enjoy the events that we plan. So I make it a priority. And is there anything you'd like to say to the student body of Middle Creek? I just care about Middle Creek so much. I enjoy coming to school every day. I enjoy planning things for the school. And I enjoy watching everybody have fun at pep rallies, spirit days. Um, blood drives. I just, I just love this community. This year's Spirit Week is October 27th to the 30th. Start planning your outfits now. Since 1965, NASA has been exploring Mars and the idea that one day it might be able to support human life. This idea might become reality sooner than we thought, as the evidence of liquid water has just been found on the planet's surface. The main problem facing explorers right now is that the robots used to visit Mars are not sterile and could contaminate the water source with bugs from Earth. The Committee on Space Research has conducted research that says the UV radiation from Mars's atmosphere has killed off any life clinging to the rovers, but there isn't any clear evidence to back that up. There is another rover called ExoMars that is planned to launch sometime in 2018 that will look for evidence of life in Martian soil. But until then, we won't be able to go much closer than we are right now. 
Last for today's show is an interview with an English teacher here at Middle Creek, Mr. David Kushner. Hey, Mr. Kushner, so what do you teach and how long have you been teaching it? So this year I am teaching English 3 honors and all sections of newspaper. And this is actually my 14th year at Middle Creek. I was here when we opened and they haven't got rid of me yet. And what's your favorite thing about being a teacher? Honestly, my favorite thing about teaching is just getting to know the students. Every student is so different from, you know, the ones before, the ones after. It's just really interesting to me to see how so many kids can come from so many different walks of life. But as a teacher, you're able to influence them all differently. And amazingly, they probably give me even more of a positive influence than I could have ever done for them. So tell me a little bit about Lead by Example and the newspaper here at Middle Creek. Okay, so I'm the advisor for Lead by Example, which is a club that was started by Kylie Hodge. And then with the newspaper, we've moved to an online newspaper only because it's really expensive to do uh, the paper production. And for $300 to $400, I see a lot of newspapers lying around in the cafeteria after we hand them out, and it just didn't make sense to keep doing that. But you know, I love working with the newspaper students, and I know newspaper writing is, is maybe a dying art, but journalism is definitely still going strong. And so I hope to you know, influence some of these students to pursue that in the future. How did you get into journalism and teaching? So the corny story for why I'm a teacher is that I went to college, at Roanoke College, I started wanting to be a sports writer. And my dad knew I wanted to also coach potentially. And so he signed me up for an education course. And after that three hour course, the first one I ever took in college, I called him up afterwards and said, I want to be a teacher. So I guess beneath all of that, I still like sports writing. I still like journalism. And so I wrote for the school paper for a year, followed the soccer team and you know, just wrote some short stories but when I was given the opportunity to head the newspaper at Middle Creek, I definitely jumped at the opportunity. What was your experience like at Roanoke? And you mentioned only being there for two years. So where did you get your degree from? Well, so I started at Roanoke College for two years, not thinking I wanted to be a teacher. And I grew up in a town that has a state school. Edinburgh University of Pennsylvania is basically a teaching and nursing university. And so I was kind of homesick because I had younger brothers that were starting to participate in sports and I missed being able to see that. So I transferred back home, started coaching basketball my junior year of college. I started coaching JV basketball at a neighboring town, did my student teaching there my senior year. And so this is my 16th year doing high school basketball, which is crazy to think about that I've been doing it that long. And how do you like being here at Middle Creek and back in the South compared to Pennsylvania? Love it. You know, when my two years at Roanoke made me realize that the sun shines in other places in the country because when you come from dreary, eerie Pennsylvania, you don't realize that the sun actually shines. Even when it's 30 degrees out, it can be beautiful. And once I saw that, I knew I wanted to end up back in the south. Chipotle. Cinderella. Superman. I don't know, are Brad and Angelina still together? What if I don't know either team? Can I go with that? Mm. We'll go Sonic the Hedgehog. Don't it do it for me. Now watch me whip. Kill it. Now watch me nay nay. Okay. Now watch me whip. Whip. Watch me. Want to be part of the next episode? Have a teacher you want to see whip? Comment below and let me know what you want to see. I'm Sydney Sozio. See you next week. Now watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me.